YouTube, we finally finished moving. Oh my gosh, this was so difficult. Um, I've never moved with a toddler before, but it definitely took a lot more work than I thought. We had a babysitter some days, I had people in here helping me organize here and there, but it was just quite an undertaking that I wasn't prepared for. So, but I'm back now, our house is kind of together, still working on some things, but I will get back to making more videos as soon as I can just get myself a better routine. So, I thought I would do a video on my 19 month and a half son, almost 20 months, um, his favorite toy. So I did one, I think at 17 months, Things have changed for him, so I thought I would give you an update on the things that he's loving now. So hopefully it will give you some ideas, and please feel free to tell me what your child, doesn't matter the age, what they're enjoying, so he can give me some ideas on things that I can purchase for our son. Alright, here we go. First we have the Melissa and Doug wooden doorbell house. So my son loves keys, so I just jumped at this toy once I saw it. Um, they are metal keys, which I thought would interest him a little more than the plastic ones, since he loves our keys so much, and these are you know, closer to that. So this is a more challenging toy for him, because clearly he can't pick out which key goes into the door. So this is definitely a toy that we have to play with him, but he really enjoys it. Some, sometimes we can give him the key, um, the correct key, and he'll really work at it. The number one key is the one that is the um, easiest. So he turns it around and we put little, it comes with four dolls and we put the dolls in. I have no idea where the dolls are right now because he was just playing with this. But this is definitely a toy that he enjoys. He will play with this by himself, especially if all the doors are open already. Then he kind of opens them. He, not, he likes to knock on the door, ring the doorbell and open it up and move all the dolls around. So this is really a fun one for him. Next, next is the, um, I had this one in his 17 month old toy. Now this toy he really has been enjoying a lot. Um, I think this is the nesting blocks, the garages, and you can line them all up and with the cars, the corresponding cars, you put them in and he really enjoys this so much. I know that if I need to cook or something, if I pull this out, he'll play with it for quite some time. Next we have another Melissa and Doug toy. These are the pattern blocks. So they come with different shapes and, and different boards. And what you do is just put the shapes in the puzzle or the board, the pattern boards, and um, kind of create the picture. So he really enjoys this. He's doing really, really well with placing them in the correct spots. We haven't started working on shapes yet, but I do talk about colors while we're doing this. He pretty much has all of his colors down now. Um, so we're gonna probably move on to shapes pretty soon, but um, we're kind of working on alphabet at this point. Next we have, I moved on you guys a little bit, these wooden toys. Now I got these at a thrift store for like $3, but it says Toys for Smiles, LasVegas.org. Um, there are three of these. The car is somewhere around the house, but we have a bus and we have a truck, and he just really, really enjoys these. Unfortunately, it really hurt if you jump it on your toes, but we took a trip recently, and this is what we brought on the airplane, and he was totally, totally into them. So I just love these kind of simple toys. It's, you know, doesn't scream, make a lot of noise. Um, just really helps him use his own imagination. So I'd highly recommend some type of wooden toys, but definitely check this company out. Toys for the le number four smiles. The next three are really big ones, so it's gonna be really hard for me to show them to you, but um, I'll do my best. Here we have a laundry basket full of teddy bears. Right here, any teddy bears. My son is really enjoying just putting the bears in here, pushing this around the house. We have carpet, so it just slides really, really, really well. And um, it's just, surprisingly, he's just really enjoying this. So he hasn't tried to climb in yet. I know a lot of kids love that, but um, you know, it's definitely something that everyone has. You have a clothes, clothes basket or something similar, maybe a box or something. And if you like teddy bears or not, people give you teddy bears when you have a child. So um, that's definitely something he's enjoying doing. <laughs> Next is, voila, this is an Ikea 
chalkboard. The other side is a dry erase board. We also bought some chalk and I have sidewalk chalk. Um, so he is really enjoying writing on here. It's really just scribbling, but we are a family of learning <laughs> and teaching. So we go, we're already starting with numbers and letters and words. And we do a lot of writing and help him identify what we put on the board. So this is a lot of fun. He enjoys um, drawing and I think because he enjoys writing on here so much when we write on there he's also really taking part in what's going on so this is a great learning resource we don't use the whiteboard yet I don't want to give him the markers because I'm very afraid you know he'll suddenly start writing on the carpet on the walls so we're going to wait a little bit for the dry erase side but um definitely the chalkboard side has been going very well I don't think this cleans very well I think it was like 15 it was between 15 and 25 dollars so it's very inexpensive compared to other blackboards so you know maybe it doesn't clean very well but it's it was a good um it was a good buy so we also for this one we i paid someone to cut down the feet a little bit so that it could be a little bit lower we took off about i think three inches i probably would have done four if i could do it again we took off about three inches off of the feet just to bring it down so he could really reach so he reaches probably about to right here so it gives him some room to grow i got that idea from a montessori school that um we toured a few months ago next is our desk this is well it's just a table this also came from ikea i think this was under 25 dollars came with two chairs and we have this set up and it is just really giving him a lot of practice with sitting at a table sitting at a desk and reading or coloring or whatever it may be so he really does really well books he just absolutely loves books i think he'll sit for hours and read books we're you know us reading them to him he'll read to himself or flip through books here and there but um he really enjoys it so i sit at the table with him and we just really go through books and we talk about what's on the pages and we read them and i encourage him to read to me so he tells me what's on the page in his own little language he's telling me but really this table has um i think it's going to give him good practice for the future of learning and being in the classroom and um, for all of his future studies okay next is a this is a pull along this is like a melissa and doug toy this is pretty much the part he really enjoys the most it came with three parts so it's a giraffe elephant and a zebra and they all kind of link together and you can pull them all around so the kind of pieces but um he plays with that puzzle piece of it a little bit he'll try to put the animals together but just this piece right here i mean he's just all for this he just drags this all around the house he really loves any toys that he can drag and pull along with him but this one in particular he's just really into because we have a snail we have a dog we have other type of similar toys but this random little piece of a toy he's he just really enjoys so here's another one i wish i knew what it was called but um maybe some type of animal parade i don't know but this is a good one too all right so next is ah uh, we got this big wheel barrel thing from ikea also so he really enjoys that just like he enjoys the laundry basket but what's in here is what's most important these animals oh my gosh he took on to learning his animals animal sounds animal names so quickly once we bought these so um i'll put it in the link what company company it is it, it's really difficult to find them this size i for, for me it was i found a lot that were very small but because of our son's age i didn't want to bring those into the house but these are great i also found some that i liked even more and they were bigger they were jumbo um, but they were pretty pricey, so I wanted to get a lot of animals. In order to get a lot of animals, I was spending over $100 on these figurines. But I ended up finding these are smaller, and, I mean, they, they, they work perfectly, but they're not too small. I mean, these are loads and loads and loads of animals. And what we do with these, which is, I think is a great idea, which worked really well for us, but we have some books okay i went and got one so we have some books like dear zoo this is a really popular one and what we do is i was reading these i open it up and i'll say what is it 
and then he'll run and he'll go get the elephant and then he we play around like oh this is the mommy this is the baby or whatever and then nose kissing and all types of stuff or playing along together and um he just really picked up on this so so quickly um so then we have the giraffe in this book and he'll run and go get the giraffe and look the little tongue is stuck out and the animal's tongue stuck out so he just thinks that's so funny to see those similarities so all the we have several animal books so sometimes i'll have a session with him and i'll pull out all the animal books and then we'll really just play with all of these um, animal figurines and some of them have little babies so we have this one and this is the little mommy and it's just so sweet how he puts them all together so I think you should check them out so they're a lot of fun all right lastly is the alphabet behind us I wouldn't say it's his favorite thing but we're really pushing the alphabet right now he's definitely taken notice to it and sometimes he'll go up and he'll point to different letters and he'll initiate us playing with the board thing got that at like the dollar store I think it's supposed to be a board or like in a classroom or something but we just put it up right in our play area our play area is our living room it's a great way to just easily be able to point to letters and he's really getting his letters down um, I would say he's probably about like a fifth way through his letters all right everybody that does it I really hope that this was a great resource to you so you have some ideas on purchasing things for your child and please give me any type of feedback on things maybe I should consider because I'm always looking for great ideas and ways to entertain my child as while well. we're trying to educate him so please subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it so I know to do more in the future thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time